So I gotta ask the question. Has Yami cemented her status of possibly being anyone's waifu? I gotta know. Let me know down in the comments section. I'm dying to know. I wanna know your guys' thoughts. She is definitely one of those girls that actually fits her body. She is very proportionate, very thick. Personality is awesome. And I gotta say, her, her voice is very soothing. Okay. Okay, I, I can't lie. It's it's pretty foxy, to say the least. If not, I guess, sexy for a better term. <laughs> okay, okay, enough of the cringe. I may or may not have been serious right there. But nonetheless, I, I'm dying to know your guys' opinion. Maybe my thumbnails will brought you here. If you haven't watched the show, yeah, that's, that's Yami. So uh, get to know her. So now, now, I gotta say, the scene when they're in the woods... And the kid, the guy in glasses, is getting hit with suction cup arrows. And he acts like he's dying. And he's like, and Kago's like, he keeps telling Kago to go on. Go, go, Kago, go. And he's like, I can't. I can't trans, you know, I can't transfer my saved data to you. I can't. My transfer data cannot be saved to you. What I see cannot be given to you visually and or mentally in any aspect. And he's like... The music stops. That scene was so good. And the music stops. They nailed it. They nailed it. They put that scene together great. And he hands him the 4K fucking camera. He died. I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> the music stops. He just hands him the camera. They're both bawling. He's like, he starts screaming. He starts running. First step, he steps on a, a damn mine. And that's the end. They're done. They're both done right at that point. Maybe that's whenever, you know, the, the guy in glasses actually passed out. Because I was wondering, I was like, how did this man pass out from suction cup arrows? Kate goes even like, it's suction cup arrows. Pull yourself together. So, but no, that scene was absolutely awesome. But uh, on top of that, who liked the, uh, uh, was it, the suntan lotion scene? Who, who's digging that? I know, I know some of my, uh... Preferred subscribers. I know some of you guys are digging that. Don't you lie to me because you guys are proud and you admit it And I'm looking forward to see that in the comment section actually because you guys are like yep That's me raise my hand and you, you guys try to hey you guys try to corrupt me you do you do You do you got you guys say it you say I you say it loud and proud and you almost got me sometimes you almost got me but at the same time the nice timing scene and whenever uh, Ronco and of course, Yami were just like rubbing their boobs on uh, Junichi. That's kind of like, he's like, they're huge. And he's like, doubles. <laughs> it's like, oh no, 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 no. You can't, you can't be, you can't be doing that. They're, he's like, they're huge. And it's like, dot, dot, dot. Then Rocker came over, doubles. I was like, what the hell is this, dude? What is going on right now? But on top of that, um, the scene where. What was it? The scene. I, I got I got cheat and look at my notes here really quick, guys. The scene where they brought back the music when they're getting ready for the pursuit and going to peep. It's like, oh, that's I was like, bro, they brought it back. Why do they have such a Lion King-esque soundtrack in this show? This is, no, it it, it doesn't fit. It, like, it does not fit the, the show at all. It does not fit the tones at all to the point to where it fits. And that's, it makes it funny as hell. And that's a great job by, you know, Studio Naz, I believe. So only two more episodes of the show. We have episode nine and ten. And it looks like next episode is going to be my first fight. So I wonder how good the show can be if it actually does get serious. And that's something I'm really interested to see a tone shift. So other than that, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, X25. Hope you guys enjoyed the review, I guess. More like a discussion, but eh, I guess there's nothing really to review in this episode besides besides these these fine girls' bodies. I'll start with the, I'll start with, um, the pink haired girl. Her, you just can't have breasts like that, man. Like, really? 